perpendicular offset from the tangent line is a linear method using the tangent line T. It is one of the two methods using the element. Learn how to lay out curves using this method in engineering surveys. In perpendicular offset method, one has to know the length of the tangent line in order to take regular intervals from it to trace the curve. Given the values of the radius of curvature r and the central angle delta, the tangent line can be computed. From t, set regular intervals to draw distances which would trace the curve. Take note that these distances should be perpendicular to the tangent line, thus they would be inclined at 90 degrees. By learning the distance of O from the set of intervals, then the curve can be drawn. Now let's derive the formula to use for distance O. Say we have a simple curve with radius R and central angle delta. From the elements of a simple curve, tangent line T is computed as the radius R multiplied by the tangent of half of the central angle delta. By knowing the tangent length, Work with an interval. Always keep in mind that closer intervals will yield more accurate curves. In the derivation, we use x as the desired interval, and we are set to figure out O, or in this case, distance of O sub k. By projecting line O sub k perpendicularly from the tangent line to the curve, the point of intersection will still be r distance from the center, and we project a line to r near the point of curve to produce a triangle. Extracting the triangle, the sides would be x and r minus o sub k, while the hypotenuse is r. This is a right triangle, so by adopting Pythagorean theorem, we can say that the square of the hypotenuse r is equal to the square of the sides x and o sub k. Let's extract o sub k, so isolate the term on one side then take the root of both terms, leaving r minus o sub k is equal to the root of the quantity r squared minus x squared. From here, it is easy to identify that o sub k is just equal to r minus the root of r squared minus x squared. So we know how to define the length of the offsets, but when do we end the procedure? In order not to waste effort of laying out overlapping lines in the field, we should identify the maximum x. So if we take the apex of the curve and draw a line from it to the center, the length will be the radius r. We can then create a triangle if we project a parallel tangent line on the radius, which would still show x sub n or the maximum interval length. From the right triangle, we can identify the unknown x sub n and r. But we also can see that from the apex, the central angle is divided into two, making it delta all over two. So with three elements of a triangle known, we can use the function sine of the angle, which is opposite all over hypotenuse. That would be sine of delta all over two is equal to x sub n all over r. So by cross multiplication, x sub n is computed as the radius r multiplied by sine of half of the central angle delta all over 2. Let's check a simple application. Say that we need to set a curve with r of 100 meters and angle of intersection of 45 degrees using 10 meter intervals. First is to determine the length of t, which is simply the radius multiplied by tangent of delta all over 2. That is, 100 times tangent of 45 all over 2, giving us 41.4213 meters. 
Before we start laying out lines, determine the maximum length of the interval using the formula r sine delta all over 2, and by plugging r and delta, x sub n is solved as 38.2683 meters. Next, we can compute for the offsets through intervals of 10, so by using a table of x from 0 to the maximum 38.2638, use the formula previously derived to determine the lengths which would turn out as 0, 0 0.5013 for 10 meters, 2.0204 for 20 meter interval, 4.6061 for 30 meters, and 7.6120 for the maximum interval of 38.2638. By this time, we can trace the curve by starting at PC and lay out the tangent line distance which is 41.4213 meters. Take regular intervals of 10 meters until 38.2683 meters, then lay out perpendicular offsets. Such offsets will be measured as per the values of O sub K determined from the computation. So after having the left half, take symmetrical tangent lines and offsets on the other side. Then lastly, draw a curve from the end points of O.